What is good guys, we have it OST round 8 Malakis vs Lycans. This is game 1, looking at the teams real quick, uh, most likely Volcarona with Z move on Malakis side. Uh, probably Scarf, Lari with healing wish support. And I think it's gonna be double defog, uh, defog and on Lari and on Landris, just to make sure that you keep off rocks for the Volcarona. Then it's probably rocks on Ferrothorn, I don't think it's gonna be spikes, just because you have to defog a lot for Volcarona, so there's no point in having spikes. Uh, Mega Morwell, and then we have to find out the Caldew item. So on the other side, this is, um, I think, a team that probably is used in SPL. Uh, Scarf Granger U turns out on a Kelly turn one. I assume Venusaur is gonna come out. Clefable doesn't want to take a hit, um, probably, so Venusaur makes the most sense, exactly. And it does 28, so I'm pretty sure that's choice specs Kelly. So um, this Venusaur can just Mega Evolve here and go for Giga Drain or Sludge Bomb. I think Giga Drain is pretty free because the month like uh, Ferrothorn and Lari that want to come in on Giga Drain, they get. Um, Covered like Lightness has months in the back that deal with those months. He has a Magnezone and a Cell Stealer, um, so Ferrothorn is not a problem. And for Lari, he has months in the back as well. So Malakis should just U turn out here. Um, Lightness play is either going Cell Stealer or Landris. Uh, Clef is also an option, but U turn is always the play because if the Venusaur stays in, you just go to Lari. If the Venusaur switches out, you get momentum. Even if he has rocks on his landers, I don't think he has. Like I said, I think he has rocks on Pharaoh. There was no point rocking for Malakis because if Lycans, um gets up his rocks, then Malakis has to defog anyway for the Volcarona. So um, Kalio forces Lycans to go into Venusaur. Malakis can either fish for the burn or he could also double into Ladi or Volk. He does just fish for the burn, he doesn't get it. And yeah, it's actually quite annoying to switch into this Venusaur because it's modest max special attack. Uh, as we could see from that Giga Drain that did a lot to the lander earlier. Uh, so he sludge bombs this time, trying to catch the Lari. Malakis goes Lando, predicting that, and we see it's Aya Papa Landorus, which is really weird. So assume this Landorus, it already should U-turn. The other moves are probably Earthquake, HP Ice, and Defog. He should just U-turn again here. But yeah, it has to be HP Ice, uh, Lando. Because his team is really weak to Zygarde. Um, so that has to be a Zygarde check. So Kelly comes out again. Let's see if he tries to burn the Venusaur, or if he pulls the double into Volk or Lari this time. Lightnings obviously can't stay in here. Okay, so let's talk a bit about the sets because I know all the sets on Lightnings team because the team was used by Brofus and SPL and someone posted it in my Discord. So he does double into Volk, breaking the Venus. So this Venus is offensive, growth, Giga Drain, Slush Bomb, Synthesis. Um, this is a tough position for Lightnings because his way of revenging Volk is Greninja, but he also cannot let this Quiver dance up twice. If this Quiver dances up twice, he cannot revenge it anymore and he just loses. So what he has to do is either go hard Lando here. Because this Landro has Toxic, Earthquake, HP Ice and Rocks. So then he can either Toxic it and put it on a timer. Or, um, yeah, he can then Toxic it and put it on a timer. Or Earthquake, if it does enough, is also a potential play. Um, but he can also stay in and Sludge Bomb and hope for Poison. But that just relies on a 30% chance, which you don't want to do. So I think going hard Landro is the only play. Because if you go hard Greninja on a Bug Boss or Z Bug Boss, you just die. You just cannot afford to go hard Greninja here. That's just not the play. And this, this Venusaur is also really useful for the Kelio because otherwise Ska uh, Specs Kelio destroys his team, kind of. Because this Clefable is actually offensive, it's like modest with Electrium. Um, so like it cannot switch into Kelio at all. So he does just go Landris, there's the Fire Blast. And now Lightning's play here is just clicking Toxic to um, put the Volcron on a timer. Like I said, I know the team because it was posted in my server. Um, but, so like, I agree with just attacking there Malakis, on Malakis side, because um, just in case Lightning wants to go hard Greninja, you get damage. Uh, yeah, you get good damage, as long as you hit your Fire Blast. So now you can either Fire Blast again, or if he doesn't want to risk missing, what would this be? I think it's Fire Blast, Quiver Dance, HP Ground, because his team struggles a bit with Heatran besides Kelio. So HP Ground makes sense. And um, what is the Z move? Is it Bug Bus? Z Bug Bus, oof! So Z Bug Bus kills the Greninja. Um, that was not the play for Lightnings. That was definitely a misplay. So the reason why he went for Z Bug Bus there is because it, it didn't risk missing Fire Blast and would have killed the Landers from that range. And it also kill, um, covered Lycans pivoting into Greninja. And he also didn't really need the Z Bug Bus for anything. Like, he can just quiver dance up on like this, this, um, or the Clef. And then, like, he kind of just wins. Um, like, the only way Lightnings beats this Volcarona is, like, going Clef and, like, dodging Fire Blast and winning the CM, like, CM versus Quiver Dance War, right? Like, Clef can beat this uh, in a CM versus Quiver Dance War if it can dodge Fire Blast. Because um, the other move is Bug Bus, which is resisted by Clef, so he relies on Fire Blast to hit the Clef for any damage. So, like, he can 
do anything. Like Lando dies, the fire blast. Venus relies on Sludge Bomb Poison, so his only place going off fire blast dodges with one of these three. Like otherwise he can't just do, do anything. So he goes Clef, I assume he's just gonna see him up, hoping for a dodge. Malakis goes hard on the mobile, which is in my opinion the correct play. Because you don't risk missing fire blast. And yeah, we're just mega here in player if you don't fuck around with a plus one call fable. Um, if Z Sunder kills the Mawile, then that's a potential play for Lightnings. Uh, so this is CM, Sunder, Moonblast and Softbolt. And I like Lightnings team a lot because, or Brofist team I should say, um, that Lightnings is using. Because it's um, Gross, Venusaur, Giga Gigadrain, Slash from and Synthesis that is walled by specific mons like Toxapex. But then he has the Z Sunder Clef to lure Toxapex. Then he, it's walled by Ferrothorn, but he has a, a Magnuson to trap Ferrothorn. And it's walled by Heatran, this Venusaur, but he has a Celesteel that has Earthquake. Also to hit Heatran, so like all the months that Venusaur gets walled by, he has lures for, which is really cool about this team. But yeah, if I'm Lightnings here, I would either go Lando or Celesteela, most likely Celesteela. Um, you still want this Clefable around, because like, Clefable Call Mining and Dodging Fire Blast is like your only way of beating the Volk, in my opinion. <laughs> I mean, his entire team has to just hope for Hex versus the Volk, he can't beat it otherwise, because it just equivalences and beats him. But yeah, he definitely wants this clef around, is what I'm saying. So either Lando or Celestia should come out, and I think, um, exactly, Plerva is the correct play there. Because if he has D there, you don't know if the clef has like a fire move, like I said, Z Thunder. He didn't know that, but he could still think it's like Fire Blast, Flamethrower, or something like that. So like, just... Well, it's unlikely that it has a fire move, because he has a Magnuson in the back to um, trap like Ferrothorn on Celestia. But... You guys get what I'm trying to say, right? Just attacking a plus one Clefable, you don't want to play around with that. Okay, so the Celestila is Leech Sheet, Protect, Heavy Slam and Earthquake. If he kept the sets the same from the Brofist team. Um, hmm, let me think. So Lightnings could either Leech Sheet or Earthquake, or he could Pivot into Landris. Um, pivot into Landris is what he decides to do. Um, Probably scouting for Thunder Punch. Maybe also predicting an SD. Um, he wants this around uh, mainly for. Yeah, he just wanted this around, I guess, for Ladi. And. Huh, not 100% sure. But yeah, a hard switching out by Malakis was the correct play because um, this is most likely Defog Landris. Like I said earlier, it's probably Defog this and Defog this to make sure that the Vogue doesn't have. That the rocks are off for the Volcarona. So just going hard into this and then defogging is definitely the correct play. So he should just click defog here. Um, what is Lightning's gonna click here? He could just HP Ice, I guess. So he just has Celesteela, okay. So he keeps his Landers as fodder. And there's a free leech seed. Um, Malakis can U turn out here, which um, U turn means that Lycans cannot double. And so he's forced to click Leech Sheet here, and Malakis is either going to U-turn into Volk or Kaldeo. Um, He can also go Ferrothorn, but that's too risky because he doesn't know yet if this has Flamethrower. Only I know that because I know the team. Um, so I don't think he wants to go Volk because Volk kind of just wins him the game later on. So I assume he's just going to go Kaldeo here, and Lycan uh, should click Leech Sheet. That's like his only play, in my opinion. So Leech Sheet does connect. So he could either protect here or he could go into Venusaur. So I think doubling into Volcarona here is a good play. Because it covers the Protect and it covers the Venusaur. I mean, you still have to... You can still lose if you get hexed, but... Like, bar hex, doubling to Volk here, I think, puts you in a good position. So you just double Leech Sheet there, predicting the double into Volk. Um, good play by Lightnings, but it didn't work, because Malakis went into Pharaoh. So, um, did the Venusaur reveal its entire moveset? It revealed Gator and Sludge Bomb and Synthesis, right? Did it? I don't remember if it revealed Synthesis, but I remember it revealed Giga and Sludge Bomb. But it didn't reveal Growth yet, so Malakis doesn't know if it has HP Fire to hit Ferrothorn yet. So I'm surprised that he went Ferrothorn there on a potential Venusaur. But I guess he's um, he might be assuming that this doesn't have HP Fire to Venusaur. Because um, of the Magnuson in the back that can deal with Ferrothorn and Celesteela. Okay, so um, the water's cold. Um, I know, bad joke, I'm sorry. But yeah, Kelly cannot get a burn today. So, what is the play here? I assume we could see the Ladi coming out here. If he knows that this, I guess he can go Pharaoh again and then scout for HP Fire after. Because Lycans is either gonna synthesis here 
or sludge bomb like he's not gonna um, he's not gonna hp fire on that turn if he has it but yeah Malchus goes feral here um so now I would personally scout for HP Fire if I'm Malikus, and I would also scout for the double into the switch into Magnezone. So what I would go to here is probably the Lari just to scout for HP Fire and kind of covers the Magnezone. Like it doesn't really cover the Magnezone, but it's a, just a good mid ground in my opinion. But yeah, now Lilacans reveals Gross, and now even Malikus knows the entire Venusaur set. So Gross, Giger, and Slash Bomb Synthesis. He didn't know that until now, right? So this Pharaoh, now he knows that the Pharaohzone walls this, but the thing is the Pharaohzone can't really hit it because we see it's rocks. Um, probably leech shit power whip and then I assume knockoff. So like at plus six, maybe um, Gigadrin would hurt a bit. So he hard sludge bombs, depriting his switch, a potential hard lari. Um, Malikus goes landers. Makes sense, he doesn't really need the lander for anything. And yeah, what does Malikus play? I assume it's just u-turn out into yeah i guess you turn out into morwell is a fine play because now he knows that morwell can only get hit by gigadrin from this um, i mean it's still gonna hurt the morwell because of the plus one but yeah u-turn into lari was also a good play he was not sludge bombing there ever because he knows that the pharaoh or the morwell could come out um and wall is sludge bomb that's why he giga drained and also Psy shocking there and synthesizing there like synthesizing there was a good play by lycans because now he knows that lari is most likely locked into scarf Psy shock and if Malakis tried to double, predicting the Celesteela, then Synthesizing would have also covered that. But yeah, Lycans should just go Celesteela or Clef here, because um, Malakis is probably gonna stay in. Yup, like the Venus already stayed in once. Malakis doesn't wanna play around with the Venusaur, so he does just Psy Shock, because like Venus is hard to kill for him. Besides, like Morwell can beat the Venusaur, and I guess Volk can kill it. But Volk relies on Fire Best. I, nah, I can Bug Buzz as well. But it can get Slashman Poison in the process. So not sure what he predicted that doubling into Volk. Um, but yeah, Malak is double into Kaldu because besides Kaldu and Volk, nothing. Like he just switched Kaldu in on Celestila because nothing besides Kaldu and uh, Volk doesn't really wants to come in on Celestila. Uh, Pharaoh also wants to come in on Celestila, but he doesn't, he doesn't know that yet that it's Earthquake over HP Fire. I don't think that was revealed. Yeah. Okay, so um, I would just go back into Venusaur if I'm Lycans because you don't want to take Specs, Scald, or Pump even. Um, yeah, this is a Modest Clef, like I said. I don't remember if it's max HP, but even if it's max HP, it's going to take like 70 or something from Specs Pump. But yeah, he does get a dodge there that sucks a lot. Um, that might have 2 it KO'd. Um, I think it would have been a roll. Venusaur might have been able to take it. Surprise, he didn't synthesis there. Maul was completely free for Malakis because he knows the entire moveset from the Venusaur. As long as the Venusaur is not growth up, uh, Maul completely walls this. So uh, Malakis, if he has SD on this, I assume he has SD, knockoff, sucker punch, player off, because he revealed player off and knockoff so far. So um, SD and sucker just makes sense. Like sucker is like in my opinion like kind of a must have on Maul, and then SD makes sense on this team because it helps with the stall matchup. Yeah, like if you don't have SD on this mobile, like stall um, would be really annoying to f to deal with. So I definitely think it has to be SD. Um, so now, Lightning has a few options, right? You could either just um, go hard Celesteela or Psychus Lando here. Um, or he could try to weaken the mobile, because if he weakens the mobile, then he can revenge it with. Um, either the Magnezone or with um, the Thunder from the Clefable. I don't remember if the Clef. Outspeeds the Mora, so I think if Clef does not speed it, then his only way to revenge the Mora is the Magnezone. I think that's what he's trying to do, right? He's clicking Giga Drain here, weakening the Mora a bit. Um, so Malchus could just knock off again here, just in case Lightness wants to synthesis, trying to outplay the Sucker Punch. So, but yeah, just Giga Drain was a fine play. Like, he did take a bit more damage, and if he suckered there, he didn't take that damage, but. Lycans did what he had to do. He sacked his Venusaur to weaken the Morwile to get it in range from Scarf. Magnezone, the Morwile is trapped, cannot switch out here. So he can Sucker Punch to weaken the Magnezone. Um, I think it's gonna do like a lot, but th thanks to the nerf, uh, Magnezone should be able to live this. Um, I would guess that this is like 80%. That's my head calc. Something like here, the Magnezone should live somewhere here. I don't know. Usually my head calcs are relatively good. <laughs> I hope I'm not too off here, but yeah, he can Volt Switch or T-Volt, well, that kills, what? That kills? Okay, so that, that might be a roll. The <laughs> man said GG, okay. <laughs> okay. I didn't think that would kill because of the Sucker Punch nerf. That's crazy. I think that was a roll, though. Okay, so Protect Celesteela. Um, 
I know if it's Fizz Dev, it might be able to live a knockoff, but. It doesn't. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> this game is looking pretty over. So he sacks Lando that just dies to rocks. And now his Clefable. Um, if it's faster, then it can kill them all while here with a Moonblast. So I guess he sacked. Damn, if that's a guarantee, if that's not a roll on Magnus Zone, that's crazy. I mean, if that's not a roll on Magnus Zone, shouldn't he have gone to this first and go off dodge? <laughs> what the fuck? ABR made this room public? Because oh, I guess Malkis made a room hidden some something earlier. I don't, don't remember exactly. I think he did. ABR, what about making? Okay, I'm not reading this. I'm not reading this. You guys can read this. <laughs> but yeah, if this clever is not faster, the game just ends right here. Um. Oh, it's not, and he knocks. He doesn't want to risk missing player off. Okay, he doesn't want to risk missing player off, so he knocks off, and we see it's confirmed Z move. Like I said, I already knew it's Z Thunder. So he goes Lari, uh, which is a weird play because what Psyshock doesn't kill this, so Lightnings can just softball here. He tricks, but it's he just knocked off and showed that it was Z move, so tricking was a huge misplay there. Um, what the fuck are you doing? So now the Clef can call mine up, and now we have a Clefable call mine war. Versus War Corona Quiverdance War. Um, that Clef can win if it dodges Fire Blast. So, I don't know why Malakis went Lari to trick. He must have forgotten about this being Z move. He literally just clicked knockoff and it showed it didn't have an item. So, it's obviously Z move. So, like, what the fuck? So, yeah, a Lycan's play here is to go to plus six. Um, but I don't know if Lycan's can win this because, like I said, this is an offensive Clefable modest. Which means it just doesn't have. It doesn't have the, the bulk. Um, so. If Malakus weakens it, um, like he still has Lando's Earthquake in the back, Lottie's Psyshock in the back, uh, and Kelly's Secret Sword in the back, and he can also like try to stall this out of soft bullets, but um, after he runs out of Fire Blast by spamming Bug Buzz, trying to get Spadef drops. So, Lycans obviously goes to plus 6 here, and then he hopes for Fire Blast. Um, misses. Oh, also, the Lycans can win this by, um, by Thunder parrying the Volcarona. If he stunned the Peros, the Volcarona, he can win this. So, do you see him again? Yep. And you can see that Fire Blast doesn't do much, because the Clef was a plus 3, the Volk only was a plus 2. So, Lightning should softball here. Uh, Malkis should see that he has to Quiverdance up uh, to plus 6 before he attacks again. But yeah, Lightning can um, put in work here with... I mean, if he's at plus 6, um, which is definitely CM is the player for Lightning's Quiverdance, the player for Malakis. Should just both go to plus 6. And then, yeah, like, Lightning can Spatak drop it, Moonblast, Thunder Peros, it potentially or maybe even um like thunder can also crit right it's also an option i mean obviously who crits first just wins this war and i mean if malakis crits he just wins the game if lightnings crits um and his clever is at full then i think he has a shot but if his clever is weakened then he definitely can't win like if let's say if clef goes out at 60 like if clef comes out beating volk at like this range of health it cannot do it so he should just this oh he's thunder how much does that do like 70 percent 60 only, wow. Okay, so that's modesty thunder and it didn't do that much. I mean, it's not stab, it's it's only like it's made to lure toxopex after like CMing up. Um, I don't know if it, how much it does to Pex. You probably have to get some prior chip to kill it guaranteed because Pex runs like Max Bedev uh, most of the time in OU. Okay, so he used how many soft bullets already? He used two here and he used I think one or two earlier already, so he has like 12 left. Hmm, not quite sure. I don't think Lightnings can win this because Fire you guys can see Fireblast is doing too much. Well, eventually Fireblast is going to run out, but as long as these Fireblasts keep connecting, um, he's obviously spamming softball to just stall the Fireblasts out. If these keep connecting, the Clef is going to be super low. So now he bug buzzes, um, knowing that Lightnings is going to softball again. He goes for a Spadef drop. I think he's almost out of Fireblast. He has two left. Okay. So he doesn't want to use them all now. He wants to get a spadef drop and then he wants to try to fire blast after he gets the spadef drop. Is I think what he's trying to do, yeah. But yeah, Lightning's. I think he only has like 10 soft bullets left. I don't think Lightning's gonna be able to win this, but yeah, Malik has tried to throw this game really hard. I think he's still gonna win, but. <laughs> Man's really tricked after he knocked off the clef and like the funny part is he said offensive GG before like f just a few seconds before that <laughs> like you never say offensive GG um I, I guess unless it was his friends where you troll uh, but I'm not a fan of it ever 
But yeah, um, I assume he's gonna bug buzz again. Well, I think Lightning shouldn't be... I think Lightning should just hope and pray that he gets a Thunder Para. That's like his only way of winning this. Because if he gets a Thunder Para into full Para, full Para, and his Cathabel can be at full while he, while he kills the Volk, then he might have a shot, but... Since this Cathabel is offensive, like Earthquake from Land, Osasha from Ladi, and Secret Soul from Kel, he will still do quite a lot. Like those moves combined. Like this way, he's... Okay, he's spamming South Bolt, um, but this doesn't do anything. Like... I understand that... Because he's offensive Cathabel, he has to be at full. But he can't, because Bugbus has more PP than South Bolt, so he just can't... Um, I, I, the only thing I could say about this is he's tr hoping that Malekith extra chokes and clicks Quiverdance instead of attacking and lets him be at full, but even then softballing doesn't help because you waste all your softballs and then you get revenged by Earthquake from Lando into Psyshock from Ladi into Secret Sword from Kaldio if you're out of softballs. Um, six softballs left. Yeah, this doesn't work, he doesn't have enough. He has to thunder, get a get a para, um, which is I think what he should have done earlier. So he tries to do that now. He doesn't get the para. Um, so yeah, this, he is forced to soft ball, which means he only has five left. Yeah, he can't win this. But it, w it would have been um, really funny if he w if he turned that around. It was a really hard matchup for Langs. Malakis played it really well early on with the. Um, What's it called? He played it really well with the Volcarona, especially the turn where he Z-Bugbuzz the land on Langs made it um, like a bit of a misplay going hard Greninja, but to be fair, uh, the Volt matchup is really bad for him. A Volt played Volk like always wins. And there's a Fire Blast Mitch. Okay, um, that, I don't think it matters because he's solo on soft balls. Malakis can just spam um, Bugbuzz. Uh, which weakens Clef already a little bit. There's like 20, 21 as we see. Okay. And then, like, Earthquake from Lando, I don't know how much. Like, usually it doesn't do that much to Clef because they run max defense usually. But this Clef set is modest. Um, so, Earthquake from Lando is probably going to do, like, I don't know, at least 40% if the Lando's defensive. If the Lando's offensive, even more. Uh, maybe maybe only 35 if the Lando's defensive. I don't know. I'm just head calking. And you can see, I thought my head calk game was on point but I did my head calc wrong with the Magnus and the Magnus don't just dies. <laughs> so yeah now he's like almost out of softball. How many does he have left? Like two? Yeah so Lightning scan when you guys can see already. It would have been too <laughs> too cool if you could turn it around. But yeah this is game one you guys all know how SD works as best of three. Gonna be back with game two later or tomorrow. So yeah, like, Lightning is just hoping for his opponent to have a stroke or his opponent's net to disconnect. He cannot win at all. I don't know what Callmine did there. I mean, like I said, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what he does because he's too low on softballs. Um, even if he can kill the Volk, it's not gonna help him. How many does he have left? Like, one softball? I haven't checked in a while. Okay, like two. Cool. So we're not gonna have to wait much longer. It's gonna be over soon. Uh, Malakis is gonna be able to keep this Clefable chipped a little bit and it's gonna be out of softballs. And then Earthquake from Lando, Sasha from Ladi, Secret Sword from Keldeo. I said this earlier already. Those combined should be able to do it. Also, Clefable, uh, Ferrothorn, if it lives a hit, can also chip it with Power Whip. Um, yeah. So now he's out of softballs. If I, I don't know. I didn't really pay attention. Maybe he has one left. Maybe he's out. But yeah, Landris just clicks Earthquake here. It's gonna do like 40%. He gets a crit, so that's 69. So it would have done. It would have done uh, 40. My math is off. I'm tired. 44. I don't know. <laughs> 45. I don't know. GG almost threw it, but yeah. Um. Yeah, that crit didn't matter. I don't know. If Someone in smoked this chat thinks it mattered. Because you guys could see it would have done like over 40%. Then he could have sideshocked after with Ladi. Secret Sword with Kaldio. Um, this is out of softball already. And he could also power whipped or whatever with the Ferrothorn. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, definitely a fun game to watch. So hope you guys all enjoyed. Smash that like button if you did. And 
Stay tuned for more content. Peace out, friends.